while Dark Souls is in the background. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you go to sleep? I listen to Dark Souls and Three Idiots talking to each other. Oh, that's good. Jeez. God. Yeah, you, 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 you kill, you kill that slime creature. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I become human, I could probably it'll pick up my. Uh, oh, whoops. It'll uh, make my drop rate bigger. Right, Shane? Respond. Respond, Shane. Respond. <laughs> like, like, like he's like uh, a futuristic Siri type thing. Just respond. <laughs> Shane. Interface. Respond. Interface. He responds with farts. Uh, that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. He, so he then. Said, he said no. So then, humanity, why do I need it? I don't need it. Ah, oh, God, I don't well, need humanity. Because of the human spirit, it is the strongest thing. Like it's like in WoW, where the human passive ability is that if you're confused, you just use human spirit and you just walk away. It's yeah. like nothing ever happened. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna waste all my humanity, just because. I, I bet that's a terrible idea. Probably because I have no idea what that does for you. <laughs> Uh, apparently, going human increases the, increases the drop rate by like point zero 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 one percent. That it's five zeros. Yeah, it's five zeros. Then then a one. Oh well, yeah, sure. There's benefits for being human. Not nah, no. There's there's no benefits for being human. I mean, okay. Let, let's see what uh, the benefits of being human is. You uh you get to live in your own house and drive a car. But then that also means you're flammable and vulnerable to bullets. So I feel like uh, Hoyoku says it would increase your drop rate by of shards by fifty percent. I guess if you would have one humanity. If I had one extra humanity just lying around, I I I guess so. I have no idea what shards are. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing you. Uh. Okay. Shane says your penis works if you're human, which okay. that's that's a true fact as well. I have way too many humanity, so I'm just gonna whatever. Use I don't care. This all this life is this there's nothing left in life. Reverse hollowing, sure. Reverse hollowing? Yeah, that's that's how you turn from ugly to a pretty girl, which this person is. Except she's hiding behind all the armor because she doesn't want to die, which I totally support. So wait, so does the hollowing make you a pretty girl, or no. is that the opposite? Hollowing makes you an ugly corpse. Okay, all right. Okay, that makes sense because when you're hollow on the inside, it's basically the plot to bleach. Isn't it ironic? It's like rain on your wedding day. It's not really ironic. That's just that's just bad timing. Yeah. I mean, if she doesn't watch the thing, the weather channel. There you go. That's what I was the trying weather to weather channel. the weather channel. It's not. It's her. It's her fault. It, it it literally is her fault. It actually is her fault, fault. I should say. Jennifer Lopez is the wedding planner. It's her fault. Not even going to lie. I love that movie. I also love The Last Holiday featuring Queen Latifah. Uh, uh, Shane says, in before invasion, then Hoyuku agrees with that. I, I'm assuming that now that you're human, you could be invaded? I <laughs> Yep. So what that means is that this was a bad idea. Okay. I just wanted those shards. I, I'm just trying to do the the right thing, and I can't seem to be doing the right thing here. Well, that's because this is not a Spike Lee joint. Yeah. So what? Are, what do they steal my souls if they kill me, or what happens? I I just always assumed that it was like getting killed like a by any monster like you drop your souls and then I don't know they they now Hoyoku and uh, Shane are referring to a person named Kirk 
Cobain. Got it. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a joke about Captain Kirk in my in the pilot. It, in, in in what sense? I I kind of don't want to reveal it, but I do. Okay, it's don't in the, don't. <laughs> in, in in the sense of a penis. All right. There's a debate in the episode about what to name somebody's penis, uh, and the thing is, like, this guy is not being helpful, and suggests a dumb name, and then from that, the other character says, "Captain Kirk, that's a brilliant name for my penis." Uh, let's let's be honest. If you're naming your penis, there's no way any name is not going to be stupid. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I came up with some dumb names. Believe me, with uh, in the pilot. Uh, I would go with like Frankenfurter for mine. Frankenfurter. Yep, Frankenfurter. I'd probably name mine Hans Gruber because he's always up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, my my penis is always reading a book that has his notes, a little note, black notebook that has his notes when robbing banks. That that will very come in handy. Uh, Shane says Sergio. You should go down to the bottom of the waterfall and then drop down. Cap a face. That, don't do that. Don't do that, Then I won't because I've done that before. Okay, good. That's how I got cursed. And I'm not going to do that. I think like a couple more runs and I should be good. Yeah, I mean, well, how, how many souls are you trying to build up right now? I don't know. I was just kind of going. I was hoping for like twice as many as I needed to upgrade like three times. So yeah. this is pretty much it. Like you said, like 2400. It's like 48, right? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Oh, I keep forgetting about that guy. God, you suck. You know what sucked? The Capra Demon. Because he had two dogs with him. He's this weird guy who has a a goat's uh, a cow skull on his head. Okay, I'm I'm glad you explained that because I had no idea what you were talking about. He, yeah, he carried two butcher knives and he had two uh, insane dogs with him. Insane dogs is in there like crazy looking, or that they were actually you know they're like they're like zombie dog things. Okay, like okay, like 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 Cerberuses in Resident Evil. Exactly, just zombie dogs. Which, why are they always Dobermans? That's my question. That's racist. Right? Let's get like a Labrador in there. Uh, Hoyoku asks, are you guys telling me, uh, are you guys telling him how he gets to the DLC areas later in the game? Oh, please no. I hear that's hard. Uh, Shane says, Capra Demon equals hardest Dark Souls boss ever. Oh, okay. Which is probably a lie. And yes, I will probably be going to the DLC area eventually. I'm trying to beat this game because I'm not good at games, all right? It does, as much as it pains me to say, yes, I will try to beat this game. And if you didn't hear, the next game I'm probably going to do is going to be... Uh, Dead Space 2 on, what is it? On hardcore. What, on Hardcore. Where there's only, Dead Spache 2. Yeah, where there's only three saves available. Uh, so. that was gonna, that's going to be cool. Uh, I'm going to assume one of the saves is going to... Ooh, ooh. It's going to be... Um, I hear one of them is like in the nursery with all the, with like all the kids. Places. Yes, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say, actually. <laughs> Because, oh, I hate the nursery so much. You know where I'm going to die a lot? Guaranteed is where you have to put the needle in the eye. Wait, what? That's, but that thing wasn't even hard. It's hard. for I died four times doing that on normal. That's really? where I'm going to get it hard. <laughs> like, uh, I... No, I got on my first... The only reason why I saw that scene is because I, I wondered... I wonder what it would look like if I just messed up right here. And this is like on my second playthrough. It would look terrible. It does. It looks awful. <laughs> it looks like the worst, the worst death ever. Yeah. 
So what what what, what guns do you usually go with uh, in I, Dead Spache? Plasma cutter. I can't I can't go wrong. True. That that's like amazing. Why do you have that axe equipped? I, you know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just just forget about it. <laughs> okay, it looks it looks effective enough. All I need is a three hit combo and I'll be good. So so you just stick with the plasma cutter the entire way or do you like switch switch I sw around? I switch between that one traditionally. Yeah. Uh and I also do that the machine gun. That's oh yeah, the uh, pulse rifle. Yeah. Apparently, I'm just gonna, be, according to strategists, I'm just gonna be sticking with uh, um, the the gravity thing, the the, the pusher. Oh, uh, uh, kinesis. No. The one. Oh, 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 the the force force. Force gun. gun there we go. Yeah, it was just the shotgun. It's basically a shotgun. Yeah. I'm gonna have to stick with that. You know, the one that hits the ground and then they all move back. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's the alternate fire for the force gun. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to use that one and the plasma cutter. Okay, that, that makes sense. Because you know, crowding, right? Yeah. Use the force gun to push them all down. Switch to the plasma cutter to dismember them. I'm excited because I dearly love that game, but I, I not because there's only three saves. Yeah. I. I'm already super pissed at the idea of dying <laughs> and having to backtrack. You're preemptively I'm, mad I'm at it. I'm upset. I wish you could see my face. I'm my eyes have anger. Oh, I can see your face. You're we're still in Skype. Why so. do I do this? Why am I doing this to myself? It's like when I ask myself why I did Fear Friday. It's like literally, literally torturing myself for what? <laughs> There's going to be a point where I can just quit, where I'm going to quit. Just, just rage? Just rage quit? I think that's the point of the series, where I will just rage quit, and then I'll be like, that's it. I'm not going to play anymore. That's the end of this series. On to the next game. Yeah, just like, well, uh, what, what, what will it be that actually sets you off? Yeah. I'm. I guarantee it's probably going to be Alien Isolation on the hardest. I still need to play that game. I may. I, I may. You know. I may be able to beat uh, Dead Space Two. I may, but I'm. I'm pretty sure I will quit that one. I'm going to rage quit. I really want a Dead Space Three. Oh yeah, that's one thing we got to do. We should play Dead Space Three on the hardest on co-op. I said Dead Space 3, didn't I? Dead yeah. Space 4. I really want a Dead Space 4. <laughs> I like Dead Space 3. Yeah, no, I, I, I did too. Uh, a lot of people I'll, didn't. I, I just didn't like that it wasn't just a, it wasn't a horror game anymore. That was my only problem with it. But otherwise, it was fun. Yeah, it wasn't. It? Well, you know, he's experienced. Yeah. So it's like, what can you do? And then, like, the gun combinations, like, I forgot what it was, but it was so effective that nothing could touch me. Yeah. That doesn't make me any good at that game. Like I yeah. said, I still suck at games. So that doesn't make it. Yeah, I think one of my guns was basically a plasma cutter mixed with a force gun. And then my second gun was basically like the the, the super powerful um, right gun. You know, you have to charge it up and then shoot it. Mm. Hey, hey, Shane, hold on. Shane, Hoyu, Ho, uh, Hoyoku, Hoyoku, thank you. Said something about O and S. Is that a thing in this game? Am I am I supposed to be scared about this? I mean, the fun with the laughing face next to it. That's probably bad. Uh, but what were you saying, Jordan, about the dead space? Oh yeah, my secondary gun was a cheap gun because it was you know the the contact beam and a rocket launcher. That's the thing. You never actually really got guns until the third one. Yeah. Like, then the, then you actually got, like, machine guns. Yeah, and, like, that was the cheapest gun because nothing could touch me. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're strong? Let me shoot a rocket at you first. And then, oh, you're still alive? Contact beam. <laughs> and then that was it. Oh, man, for the life of me. I don't know why, but that first boss, the first time you encountered that one boss in the snow at the beginning was yeah. hard. I don't know why. Uh, Shane says, yes, be afraid of ONS. Is that the fat guy and the short guy? Uh, 
I mean, Oscar I, and Samuel. Yeah, there we go. Oscar.